Well, it's been raining pretty well steady for two days now, so here I am in my office and it's time to make another video. Enjoy. Thank you, Jesus. Fresh spring water. Here's the job site for my stove, just getting it prepped and ready. Gonna do some concrete work today. All right, got my concrete mixed up. It's looking pretty good. Well, I got the first lift in, about to use some quick set to build it up higher. This is the end result of all my hard work there. You see, I got the pipe in the back, I got that put in with concrete as well. It is completely functional. I think uh, we'll do some more work on it in the future to make it a little more effective. This is how we do laundry out in the mountains. Never mind the cement. <laughs> and go rent her off in the creek after. Always make sure to use camp suds. Biodegradable doesn't mess up the ecosystem. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this darn tree I found. Got to be 30 feet long and I want it for camp, so it's got to go all the way up to my car, way up there. Joy. I've been trying to carry this thing up the hill here, but talk about uneven terrain. Easier to just drag it. There you go. A little easier for me to film what I'm doing when I'm carrying the tool bucket instead of the tree. Woo! Little balance! <laughs> now I'd say I've outdone myself. This would be the longest load I've ever hauled with the Saturn. Got about a 40 foot log sitting in the back of the car there. Now I don't have flags and I don't have no permits. So I'm not sure if it's legal, but the grizzly bears have not complained at this point. So I've been driving down this old logging road for about 20 minutes, riding the brakes in neutral, doing five kilometers an hour so I don't mess everything up. I don't want the straps to break. That would be a bad time. And I don't want to break my trees back there anyways. Big right hand corner coming up here. Got to watch the swing radius. <laughs> I'm just trying to do the old measuring by eye here to see if I can make it over this spot without getting high centered. If I get her hung up here, I'm going to have to walk for a couple hours to get back to another vehicle. Just went for a little rip up an old logging trail here. Not sure exactly, but I probably made it up to 5,000 or 5,500 feet with my little car. Not too bad. Coming up to another little ditch here. Let's see if I can make it through. Oh, pin it. Oh. Okay, I gotta check my freaking oil pan. No leaks, she's good to go. These darn ditches are everywhere. Smash, smash. <laughs> Nothing like a little cruise through the mountains of Canada. Woo! They don't clear some of these trees out here. Somebody gonna poke an eye out. Oh, little ditch. Oh, more trees. <laughs> Eating beans with the spoon I whittled. This is a really dumb thing to do. For liability reasons, I should advise everyone to not try this at home or else you might hurt yourself. Oh, yeah. Gets pretty windy here, so we decided to put up some wind brakes. Looking good. Next step is camouflage. This tool is called a rasp and I use it to get rid of all the bumps so the logs don't rip my tarps. There you go. After a good hour and a half of filing, the log looks nice and smooth like this and you look like this. This is what it looks like with the tarps up. So as a good Samaritan decided to clean up the beach and got all this driftwood. Makes it a little more inconspicuous. <laughs> Grinding up some fresh coffee. 
Nothing like a nice hot pot of coffee to warm you up on a cold day. Mm. Just doing a little target practice. Yeah. Seven. Nice. Rain day today, so I was able to start some work inside. Here I made a little gate so I can get the wheelbarrow through later. Here I got seven or eight wheelbarrow loads of gravel and I'm spreading it out to make a floor. So my buddy Matt from town who lent me the gen set, the skill saw and the wheelbarrow and he decided to take it all back. So now I got to do things the hard way. At least it's a good workout. Ah! Ah! Oh, gravel so heavy. Ah! Ah! Tonight we're doing some pizzas on the stone. It's a good break from the rain. That's how we do pizzas in the mountains. Oh, it's so hot! Ow! Burns! Okay, it's raining pretty good outside, so I've come in to, to do some work. And I take this stick, and I'm whittle away at it until I can put this axe head on it. Alrighty, got some whittling done, and now I'm ready to put the head on this thing. Beautiful work, if I say so myself. I'm just praying that this thing doesn't fly off when I'm swinging it. Now I got my sharpening stone. It's going to give her a bit of a sharpen here, and she'll be ready to go. This air mattress been giving me grief for two whole weeks while I try to air it up, so that's it. Done! No more pain. Right on. Well, the temperature's starting to drop and my hands are getting cold, so I'm about to go have a fire and get some dinner going. Check back in later for some more videos.